The morning dove is a member of the dove family. The bird is also known as the American dove or the rain dove and has even been called a turtle dove. I simply call them lovebirds. The morning dove is one of the most abundant and widespread of all North American birds. Its wings make an unusual whistling sound when taking off and landing. The bird is a strong flyer, capable of speeds up to 55 miles per hour. Morning doves are light gray and brown in color. They have fairly neutral coloration that allows them to blend in almost anywhere. Males and females are similar in appearance. Morning doves are primarily seed eaters, not insect eaters. When they grab seeds off the ground, they are not necessarily eating them. Instead, they are stockpiling for digesting later. The seeds collect in the crop, which is simply an enlarged part of their esophagus. Courtship for the morning dove begins in early spring and can go as late as October, with the pair producing up to six broods annually. Among other mating rituals, the male dove will often perch himself high upon a telephone wire or tree branch or fly around making a loud cooing sound, trying to impress the female of the species. Eventually, he finds his mate and the couple end up together. They can be seen in the neighborhood kissing and even preening each other's feathers. As you can see, this pair enjoys being next to each other, unbashful to show their affection atop a telephone pole. Soon the male dove will lead the female to potential nest sites and the female will choose one. The female dove builds the nest. The male will fly about, gather material and bring it to her. The male at times will even stand on the female's back and give the material to the female who then builds it into the nest. This particular nest is constructed mainly of twigs. Morning doves are famous for building flimsy nests. So you can see it's kind of, kind of flimsy. When the time finally arrives and the female is ready, she will lay her eggs in the nest. A clutch is a group of eggs before they are hatched. The clutch size is almost always two eggs. After the eggs are laid, incubation takes just two weeks. It is extremely important that both parents tend to the new clutch. Mom and dad work round the clock incubating and protecting the eggs. The male from morning to afternoon and the female the rest of the day and at night. Morning doves are devoted parents. Nests are very rarely left unattended by the adults. Finally, the brood arrives. The baby chicks have been hatched. Now, mama and papa bird really have their work cut out for them. The hatched young, called squabs, are helpless at birth and covered with down feathers. Both mom and dad work together to feed their new babies something called crop milk or pigeon milk for the first few days of their life. Rich in protein and fat, it resembles cottage cheese and is secreted by the adult's crop lining and fed to the little ones. Weaning is fast though. By the fourth day of life, the diet starts to segue to seeds, and by two weeks, the youngsters are nearly fledged. I named these two baby squabs Buddy and Holly. The new brood were only a few days old when I captured these fabulous shots of them up in the old willow tree in our backyard. Watching these birds day after day was both fascinating and educational. I'd never seen anything like it. 
Like clockwork, both parents would be seen throughout the day gathering seeds from the ground and then flying hurriedly back into the nest to feed the eagerly awaiting squabs. As you can see, both baby squabs will frantically place their small beaks on either side of their parents' mouths, retrieving and eating the food stored in their crops. This is the way they receive nourishment until they are old enough to eat on their own. There's a lot of energy exerted feeding these two young baby chicks. Sometimes you just need to close your eyes and take a rest. Buddy and Holly continue gaining strength and growing every day. This is a fragile time in the young chick's life. Within two weeks from hatching, these young squabs will be ready to leave their nest. In human terms, it would be like a baby being born and within two weeks they are 15 or 16 years old. The growth process is very quick. Fledgling. This is a very exciting time in the young family's lives as the squab's wings develop. Soon they will take flight from their comfortable surroundings and begin a life of their own. Now when these birds aren't hamming it up for the camera, they're back in their nest, playing, cleaning themselves, and of course, eating more. And we watch eagerly as the squabs continue to grow and grow and grow. Dad can often be seen in the area keeping a watchful eye on these new squabs. Soon they will be leaving the nest. What a great day that will be. Hi buddy, hi Holly. What's the plan for the day? What's the scoop? When you guys fly in the coop? Well, the day has finally arrived. The birds have flown the coop. They have left the nest. Saturday, August 1st. No more babies in the tree. They were perched last night. They must have taken off in the morning. Uh, four days possibly on the ground until they're flighted. That's when they're most vulnerable, so I'm a concerned parent. That was their home the last probably four weeks when they were first uh, incubation period for a couple of weeks and then they were hatched and they were squabs and then Learn to fly, learn to get their wings, fledgling. I kept a watchful eye over these birds, hoping they might come back to the nest for a visit. After several hours, look who I found sitting by himself in the driveway. Buddy was just on the other side of the house by the front door. He looked a bit scared, but I think he was happy to see me. He didn't look injured, so I slowly went up to him. When I did, he flew into the neighbor's yard. This would become the pattern of behavior for these young pledges the next few days as they learn to orient and adapt themselves to their new surroundings and their new life. Of course, mom and dad would catch up with the young pledges during this important and vulnerable transition in their lives. They would be seen around the yard just hanging out and having fun eating, and even posing for a few photos. During this time also, the young birds would make their way back to the nest 
and catch a hearty meal from mom or dad. Last two weeks have been different for me. Um, I'm really immersed in these birds. Learned a lot about these birds, what they do, don't do, their nesting habits, their love habits, their sounds, their flights. It's been great following these birds from the little squabs after they were hatched to where they are now, a couple of weeks old, and fledgling and getting their wings and taking flight, watching them gain confidence every day. I don't know how long these guys are going to stay there. Hopefully they'll be around for a while. I think they, they found a home there in the tree. Okay, let's go see how Buddy and Holly are doing. They flew away last night, but they were there this morning. Every time I think it's the last time I'm going to see them, they show up. There they are. Content. The father has fed them a couple of times today. Can you see him up there? Finally, the day has arrived. Buddy and Holly, our two young fledges, are ready to leave the nest for the last time and start a life of their own. But before they fly away, Mom comes back for one more meal. This will be their last meal together in the nest. It's a sad day, but also a joyous day. These two young doves have got their wings and it's time to move on and start a family of their own. Mom and Dad have done a great job raising these two young birds and now it's time to say goodbye. Buddy and Holly are ready to fly the coop one last time. They are now young adult birds capable of flying and eating on their own. Perhaps one day I'll see them again, taking on the role of a parent themselves, raising broods of their own. In the months to come, more birds will visit and make their homes in our trees, gathering sticks for a new nest. Mom and Dad will work feverishly to prepare the new nest for a new clutch of eggs, a new brood, two new baby squabs, and a whole lot of lovin'. This truly is the greatest love story.